And now Victoria Gatenby gives us the latest roundup of the story unfolding so far. Injured people are rushed to hospital. They were gunned down during Friday prayers at Al Noor Mosque in the centre of Christchurch. Yeah, what happened? He came one side because the mosque had segments, you know. And uh, he came this side, he shot this side, he went to another room, shot there, there's a ladies' section, he went and shot them. Uh, and I've, I just heard one of the ladies had died, I know, I'm just hoping that that is not right. Witnesses say the gunman was a white male. He was wearing military-style clothes and a helmet with a camera. I was uh, hearing that uh, shooting after shooting after shooting, it went on about um, uh, six uh, minutes or more, and uh, I could hear screaming and crying, and uh, I saw some people were, you know, drop dead. Linwood Mosque, about 10 minutes' drive away in another part of the city, was also attacked shortly after the shooting at Al Noor. Police say they have suspects in custody, but there may be more on the loose. They're warning people to stay away from mosques across New Zealand. We are pouring resources uh, into that area. Every available Canterbury and uh, staff member and people nearby, other emergency services also, are uh, saturating that area uh, with visibility to ensure that everyone who needs to get home can get so safely. New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern said this is one of her country's darkest days. Uh, there is no place in New Zealand for such extreme acts of unprecedented violence. Uh, the people who were um, uh, the subject of this attack today, New Zealand is their home. They should be safe here. The person who has perpetuated this violent act against them, uh, they have no place in New Zealand society. This footage published online reportedly shows a suspect being arrested after the shootings. Police say they've also found bombs attached to several cars, which have now been disabled. Victoria Gatenby, Al Jazeera.